Hi guys, it's Darlene with Talk Couture. So I said that I would go back and do this as a YouTube tutorial since my live was very blurry. Oh my goodness, don't even know why, but it was. So here we go. We are going to go ahead and try this over. Let me adjust my light a little bit. All right. Let me check it and make sure. I want this one to be perfect. This is the last apron that I have. So this is an apron. And um, we are going to ink it. We're going to do um, a gingerbread guy on it. So let me get my ink down here so you can see it better. Oh my goodness. So one thing I learned when I did the other one was that I do not need to put the ink mat behind it because um, the pocket is right here and it's not going to go through the pocket and through this fabric. So I am not going to use an ink mat on this one. All right, let me move my ladder. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started. So this is our little gingerbread guy, Baking Spirits Bright. And if you ever wonder what the name of it is, they always put the name down in the corner on one of the pieces. So this is our little gingerbread guy. This is the, the base part of him. So that's the first layer. And then we're gonna put our next layer and then we're gonna do his little cheeks. And there are registration marks in case you want to go ahead and match everything up but I'm pretty good at doing that on my own. So the first thing that we will do is I'm gonna show you what ink I'm using. And I'm gonna tell you, this is the pocket on the on the apron. Super, super cute apron. And um, has a cute top part here. Let me move all this so you can see this. Oh my goodness. So here's the top, it's really cute. Um, has a little adjustable neck part and then it has this adorable pocket. I'm trying not to get this in my ink. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna fold that back down so that that part is out of the way. All right, guys, um, super fun, super cute. Looking for another little heart. Um, we're gonna do the gingerbread guy there. We're gonna do fresh gingerbread cookies on this side. I'll put a little heart. Let's do the heart at the bottom. On the other one, I did it. Um, I did um, what I do. Let me see. Let me go grab it. Mama's kitchen. <laughs> All right, so here's the other one. This is how cute the other one turned out. So Mama's Kitchen and um, did the little heart at the top. So this was the first one that I did on my live that kept going blurry. So good thing was I have a second one so we can go ahead and we can do this again and I think this will be super cute. Yeah, I think I want the heart below. All right, so we do not have a perfect gingerbread color and I really think the bark is too dark. So what I did was I mixed it. I took bark and I'm gonna find a container for this. I have lots of ink projects, so I may end up using all of this. So I used my um, bark and then I mixed it with fawn. Here's my fawn. So I have these open so I can show you. So I just kept mixing until I got the right color and I just mixed it in a little bowl. You could do just a tiny bit, but I have several projects that I'm gonna do. And then I am going to do the heart in pink. And that is my heat press. Um, this is our peony. This is peony. So I'm gonna do the little heart in peony and his cheeks in peony. And then white for the frosting and white for fresh gingerbread cookies. And then um, the eyes will be black, the mouth will be red. And I think that's it. I think I covered that. Um, just moving my, I have one of my inks open up there. I wanna make sure that I do not forget about that. So when you're inking on fabric, you are not gonna fuzz this. You're gonna peel this off of the backer sheet. And on the back of here, I wrote ginger one. So that's my little gingerbread guy. 
you're going to press this down onto your fabric and you're going to make sure that you get all your air bubbles out on fabric if you want to do the registration marks then you are going to put a piece of blue painters tape under it so that you um, ink onto that fabric i mean on so that you do not ink onto the fabric oh my goodness believe me it's been one of those days i'm going to put this under here so i can show you so this is going to go underneath so that when i when I ink through that, it's going to go right onto that piece of blue painter's tape. So we're going to do that. So that's your little trick. And then if you're afraid that you might have your ink go out to the side, you can take some of your blue painter's tape and go ahead and tape along the side. If you're worried that you might be messy, and might go onto the fabric just do that that will help it so that you don't accidentally go onto the fabric so we're going to take a little bit of our our ink right here it's all mixed up it's all ready to go and i have my squeegee i'm going to take my squeegee and start spreading it pressing it down through the fabric and I am going to do my registration marks here. I'm going to do them in white because I think that will show a little bit better through the, um, the other transfer. So I am just getting this all spread and then I'm going to scrape off the excess. I'm going to make sure that I got every area on this and put the excess back into my little bowl over here. You want it to be really even. You don't want any little ridges. You're just gonna keep going down. Okay, get all of that excess off before you pull your transfer. All right, okay. So next I am going to get, um, I'm going to get my little squeegee here. This is a multi-tool and I'm going to do my registration marks so that I'll be able to see that it'll be through this transfer onto the blue painter's tape. All right. So now I'm ready to pull this off. You're going to peel off your blue painter's tape. And then we're going to peel our transfer. And as we peel our transfer, we are going to make sure that we have it covered. And I have, I have some of the white on my fingers. So have your little Lysol wipes close by to wipe your fingers. You do not want to get the ink onto the fabric because it won't come out, it's permanent. So ink is not gonna dry as fast as chalk paste. You have time to get it right. Just gonna check it as we go. I'm gonna peel this up, and this is gonna go into my water bath. All right, so I have my little marks there, and that was exactly what we wanted to do. We wanted it to be on the blue painter's tape, and now I can do this part. And I was kind of thinking I might want to do maybe some green in there. That might be cute too. Um, maybe fresh gingerbread and white and then the cookies in green. And let's see how that looks. So I'm going to peel my transfer off my backer sheet. This is from an old transfer from a gingerbread one that is retired now. Super cute. All right, we're gonna do the heart after because we wanna be able to get it right up in there. So we'll dry this. So I'm gonna do the top part white and then I'm gonna do cookies green. I'm gonna take my little mini squeegee here and just get it so that, get all of my ink through the transfer. 
you want to make sure that you cover all of your area. The white is super thick. I actually had to add some water to it. I'm going to squeegee off the excess. Oops, and it moved. Okay, you don't want that to happen. Lay it back down. Okay, all right, gonna get the excess off. And then I'm gonna do cookies in green. Here is my green. This is Meadow. So this is our green ink. And I'm gonna take my squeegee. I don't know how it's gonna show up on this. I'm hoping it will be fine. I haven't used it on the red before. Okay, let me put that back into my jar so we can use that on another project. Let me take a peek. Okay, it looks perfect. Yay. So let me pull down from the top and get make sure that that this sorry guys, I have to splice this together. I had a phone call come in and it completely knocked me out. <laughs> oh my goodness. So anyways, um, and when I pulled it, I got a little bit of ink on here. Darn. Um, so I'm going to make sure that my heart is over the little white part. So that's the only thing you can do. It can't get it off. If I started rubbing on it, it just make a big old white mess. So I'm not going to stress about that though. What I am going to do is I am going to dry this so that we can do our next layer because I need to do the frosting for this little guy. So this is an, is an industrial heat gun. We still want to just keep it moving. You don't want to be in one area too long. And if your ink takes longer to dry than your chalk paste, so it takes quite a while. Okay, I'm going to turn it just to air. You don't want to put your transfer down on a hot surface start to melt the adhesive onto your fabric. All right. Okay. It's dry. I can tell it's dry, but it's not heat set. So I can do these two parts. I can do my little heart and I'm going to cover up that little oopsie area. It happens. So, oh my goodness. So my phone call, <laughs> my phone call guys was my husband saying, um, my daughter called April. Um, April called me and said, there's cops in front of your house. I'm like, what? There's cops in front of my house? So I went out there and I left, I actually left the camera going, um, went directly outside. And yes, there were cops in front of my house. There is a lady that was drunk, that was stumbling and I, I've never seen her before. So I was like, everything okay? And they're like, yeah, yeah. Basically, hey lady, go back in the house. <laughs> so I went back in the house and here I am. Um, my husband asked me if I would move his vehicle because he's almost home with his boat. And I was like, um, probably not gonna happen anytime soon. And then I peeked back out there and the cops were already gone. So they took care of her and must have taken her with them. I can go back and look at my security cameras to kind of see what went on. But anyways, that's what happened, guys. Sorry. So <laughs> so I'm splicing this together. And I need to be careful with this heart. This is not very sticky, so it's going to try to move on me. I want to be extra careful. Make sure that I do not let it move. I'm thinking of doing this part in green because I actually really like the green. And he has a lot of the white on him already. So I will do the eyes and let me see here. Okay. Of course they're going to bark. Husband must be home. All right. So 
going to get the eyes done on this. <laughs> oh, it's just one of those days. So, got to laugh about it. My dogs are my, my little alarm. They tell me when people are out there. So, oh yes, yeah, so I can see from our security camera that he is pulled up and he is getting ready to wash his boat. So, hopefully they got something. So, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to do the little white frosting on this. And... We will just keep going. Oh, my dogs are just going crazy. Dad's home. So, you guys catch anything? Oh, man. What's up? You did? You got a, you got a lot? Yeah. 320 pounds. 320 pounds of what? Yellowfin. Yellowfin. Oh, awesome. 320 pounds of yellowfin tuna, guys. All right. Awesome more fish <laughs> so this is a different group of people that went out with him last week was um, my sons and his friend this time he had a couple of other people with him so he's kind of spreading the love of all of the fish so pretty awesome very cool so he's just trying to keep going until his surgery gets here and um, Surgery won't be until November 13th, so I am sh certain, I am for sure, <laughs> that he is going to get a few more fishing trips in because, you know what, that's what guys do. And he is not sitting around boohooing that he has a brain tumor. He is going to keep living his life and know that that, that tumor, what should we named Fred, is going to be out. So, named it Drop Dead Fred. <laughs> I haven't seen the movie. I hope it's not a horrible movie. But when we were at physical therapy, that is what the lady said. Oh, yeah. Name it Drop Dead Fred. I'm like, okay. All right. Sounds good to me. Okay, I'm going to pull my transfer. I'm going to make sure that I didn't miss any areas because now is the time that I can fix that. Yay, I like the green on there. I think that looks really cute. I'm gonna put this in my water bath. You clean these the same way that you clean ones with chalk paste on them. All right, our little heart we're gonna do in pink and we're gonna do his cheeks in pink. So um, may as well dry this really quickly because then we can do both at the same time. All right. I'm going to dry this and make sure that my heart doesn't blow away. <laughs> well, it's always a happy day when they catch this fish. Yeah. I don't like it when they come home and they've been skunked. That is never fun. it's ready okay it's still tacky you can tell you can tell it hasn't been heat set but it is ready for the next layer I'm gonna go ahead and peel the little cheeks off and we can line up so this should be better the the one I did earlier those cheeks were a little bit high so I decided you know what I'm gonna use the registration marks and maybe they will turn out perfect hopefully so we're just gonna get us a little mini squeegee and we're gonna do pink I don't need very much I can actually probably use some off of this I'm gonna do my heart down here it's trying to move on me it's because this one is worn out this little heart is super cute and I have used it for so many things I'm gonna actually need just a tiny bit more and then I'm just going to put just a little bit right up here. My heat press is talking to me. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get the little cheekies done. Put the excess back in my jar. 
going to pull my transfers. Remember, you have a little more time when you are working with ink. It is not critical to pull them right away. His cheeks are perfect. Yay. <laughs> All righty. I'm going to pull off the blue, blue painter's tape. Don't need that there anymore. We're going to dry this, and then we can heat set it. Super duper cute. I love it. Love, love, love it. All right, guys, let's go ahead. Let's get this dry. Okay, sometimes I put a little white dot in the eyes just to kind of give him a little bit of a highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then um, I'm gonna give him a little bit of a highlight on his cheeks. So all I'm gonna do is, do is take my stylus, dip it into my ink. Oh, and it is not making a good thing. I am not gonna do that this time. When it is the chalk paste, it's really easy because it would actually be round, but that would put a great big gob. He is not getting eyeballs. Well, <laughs> he has eyeballs. He is not getting highlights in his eyeballs. We are going to go ahead and we will heat set this. Miss Bailey, there is no barking. Bailey, baby, no barking. You know what? These dogs, <laughs> they, they can drive you crazy. Okay, this goes underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this underneath my fabric because I don't wanna heat this up. I have made that mistake before. This is a mat for baking on, but it is not a mat for a heat press. You do not want to use your heat press on this. Oh my goodness. This is so adorable. I am like so in love with this. How fun is this? Okay. And you know, gingerbreads are just one of my favorite, favorite things. So I'm gonna go ahead and we are going to heat press this. This is the Cricut Easy Press Heat Press. I'm gonna go ahead and set the timer to go. It'll go for 30 seconds. It's set at 305. So it is going to set my ink. My ink is gonna be permanent now. I can wash this. It's not gonna come out. Um, it is going to be on there forever. So it's gonna be super cute forever. And if you do not have a heat press, don't worry. You can use your iron. So what you would do with your iron is you would always put the parchment paper on here um, between your iron and your, um, your ink. So we don't want the ink to go onto whatever heated surface. And then you'll just iron for three or four minutes and just set the temperature to whatever your fabric is. This fabric is 100% cotton. So I have this set at 305. That is what works best with the Cricut Easy Press. I will tell you, I have had one item that was from Michaels that was a, um, a bag and it must have had polyester in it and it melted a little bit so that is just something that you need to be aware of that there are some fabrics that you do not want to heat up that high so what you would do is you would um, do it at a lower temperature and just do it several times so i'm going to go ahead and do it from the back and it'll be fine to go through this fabric um, it's going through several layers of fabric, but it's still hot. It's going to get that, and then I'll feel the front of it, and we'll see if it still needs some more. Um, there have been some times when I've done it more than once, and you can tell if you need to do that. You'll be able to tell if it's still sticky. So what do you think, guys? What a fun project. Sorry about the interruption in between. That's life. <laughs> Life seems to happen around here a lot, but um, this is going to be super fun. This is going to be one of my items that I'll have up for auction. I am going to do a Watts of Love 
Monday, instead of doing it Wednesday, I'm gonna do it on Monday, and it's gonna be all gingerbread themed. So it's gonna be tons of fun. So if you want to bid on this, or I'm gonna set the beginning um, bid. So I, this one will probably be set at $20, and whoever whoever wants it is gonna, gonna bid on it, and it could go for more than that. Cute, cute, cute. Oh my goodness. All right, let me do it. I'm gonna do it one more time. I feel like it's still a little sticky. So make sure that you check and see if there's any ink on your parchment paper. If there is, just get another piece because guys, this stuff is cheap and you don't wanna mess up your cute little things underneath. You went to too much work to have it be messed up. So we are just going to do this one more time on each side um, of the front. I don't feel like we need to do the back another time. We're just gonna do the front. So hey guys, if you wanna know more about Chalk Couture or you wanna be able to order this cute little gingerbread guy, just let me know. I will put the link um, at the top of the um, YouTube video and you can check it out. You can go online on my website and you can order him. Um, if you are interested in joining Chalk Couture, just let me know. It's such an amazing company. Can you imagine being able to make crafts for a living and earn money and be able to um, earn free product? Oh my goodness, it's just a great company. I have been so happy. I cannot believe that my creativity has just like quadrupled. <laughs> I've been doing craft shows for 31 years and selling stuff for 31 years and making stuff since I was a child. And I tell you what, after joining Chalk Tour, I have just been renewed. It's just something I can't even explain. So if you want to be part of that, let me know. I am always happy to send you information. And I'm going to take a picture of this cute apron. How fun is that? What a cute little apron, and this isn't just for Christmas. This can be used all year. It isn't Christmas specific. So, all right guys, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna finish up this video, and I'll get it posted. Let me know what, um, if you guys have questions. Alrighty, have a good night.